Association says South Carolina is one of the states with the worst policies to prevent and produce tobacco use. Yeah, now a new bill banning local governments from passing more regulations on tobacco products is making its way through our own state house. It comes weeks after a report ranked South Carolina near last in tobacco use and prevention. News 19's Becky Budge is live outside the state house tonight. Becky, mixed feelings for lawmakers here, right? That's right, JR. Opponents say these regulations are crucial in fighting the teen vaping epidemic. Meanwhile, supporters say that they hamper business and that they should be uniform across the state. Uh, a lot of traffic, a lot of students around here. Um, yeah, we've been having good business lately. Mo Raid is the manager of Day and Night Vape Shop in Columbia. He says more than half the store's revenue comes from e-cigarettes. People have been lately giving up off tobacco since it's more expensive. Ryad believes his adult customers shouldn't be restricted on what products they can buy. We don't let nobody under 21 walk in here. Proposals moving through both chambers of the state house would ban cities from limiting sales of tobacco products and e-cigarettes and creating their own tobacco licensing rules. The measure grandfathers in any local ordinances enacted before December 31st, 2020. Dozens of public health groups like the American Cancer Society oppose the bills. We have to do something about the 30% of high school students who are using e-cigarettes and becoming addicted. The state's tobacco tax brought in nearly $30 million last year, according to the Office of Revenue and Fiscal Affairs. The organization argues the cost of having no regulations is greater. It costs our state $2.2 billion annually to address the health care costs related to tobacco. But supporters like Raid say regulations are bad for business, costing the state valuable sales tax dollars. A lot of smoke shops will close and it will hurt a lot of business and a lot of people too. Now, there aren't any cities in South Carolina that are currently working to enact any of these ordinances, and the bill would not impact local government's ability to regulate where tobacco shops open. Reporting live at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19 WLTX. All right, Becky, thanks so much. And South Carolina is one of 10 states that doesn't license tobacco sellers. A bill to do that last year got stuck in subcommittee after facing opposition from convenience store owners. Meanwhile, the American Lung Association says the adult smoking rate in our state is at 15.5%, which is above average. In addition, 27.5% of high school students use some kind of tobacco product. Young adults and children tend to use e-cigarettes, which are often called vapes, over other tobacco products. These devices come in various flavors, and a lot of the fruity flavors appeal to the younger kids.